Hello guys, my name is Prince and this is my center. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Post your comments and questions on my social media handles and I'll respond to it. We are on the topic simultaneous linear equations in two variables. In the previous video, we learned how to solve word problems using simultaneous linear equations in, this, in two variables. In this video, we are going to take another question and solve it using simultaneous linear equations in two variables. So let's look at the question for this video. The sum of two numbers is 8 and their product is negative 33. Find the two numbers. Once again, the aim for this question is to find some two numbers. Two numbers that we do not know. So what do we do? We are going to represent those two numbers by variables. So I will say that the a is equal to the first number and b is equal to the second number. Now, after you've used variables or sorry, after you've used variables to represent the unknowns, what you do is that you now use these variables to write the equations for the question. The first part of the question says that the sum of the two numbers is 8. What that means is that if you add those two numbers, you are going to get 8. So a plus b is equal to 8. That is the first part. So I'll call that equation 1. The second part goes on to say that their product is negative 33. Product means multiplication. What that also means is that if you multiply those two numbers, you are going to get negative 33. So a times b will give us negative 33. So a b is equal to negative 33. So that will be equation 2. With these two equations, we should be able to find the first number, which is a, and the second number, which is b. Now, how do we solve this? In this type of simultaneous linear equation, you are going to use the substitution method. It's going to be difficult using the elimination method here, so you'll be using the substitution method. And in using the substitution method, we know that you make one of the variables the subject in one of the equations, then you will substitute it into the other equation. So this is what you are going to do. I'm going to make B the subject in equation 1. So if I make B the subject in equation 1, I'm going to get B is equal to 8 minus a because equation 1 is a plus b is equal to 8. So if I make b the subject, I'll get b is equal to 8 minus a. Now I will then substitute this new equation into equation 2. So I will substitute b is equal to 8 minus a into equation 2, which is a b is equal to negative 33. That means that wherever I see b, I'll replace it with 8 minus a. So it's going to be a times b, but b is now 8 minus a. Once again, because a is a single term, multiplying a binomial, which is 8 minus a, I'm going to put the binomial in a bracket. If you watch the video on algebraic expression, we explained why you have to put the binomial, which is 8 minus a, into a bracket. Whenever you have a single term like this, which is a, multiplying a binomial, you put the binomial into a bracket. If you want more details about this, watch the video on algebraic expressions. So we have a into bracket 8 minus a, which is b, into is equal to negative 33. So we replace b in equation 2 with 8 minus a. Okay, so we can now open the bracket and simplify. So if you are opening the bracket, you have a times 8 will give us 8a. A times a will give us a squared, but because it's minus, so we have minus a squared. Once again, if you watch the video on algebraic expressions, you understand that a times a will give us a squared. That was also explained there. And this is going to give us negative 33. Straight away, you will see that this is looking like a quadratic equation. So you arrange it in such a way that you can solve this quadratic equation. So this is how I'm going to do it. I will send minus a squared to that side so that it becomes positive. So I'll send minus a squared here, it becomes positive. I will send 8a also over there so that that also becomes negative. 
then negative 33 is already there so when minus a squared crosses to this side becomes a squared when 8a crosses to that side becomes minus 8a negative 33 is already there so minus 33 is equal to 0 so this is a quadratic equation and we have to solve this quadratic equation in order to get a which is our first number we explained i explained how to get how to solve quadratic equation in the videos on algebraic expressions i explained it into details so i'm going to go ahead and solve this quadratic equation here if you want to understand how to solve an equation like this Please watch the videos on factorizing quadratic trinomials under algebraic expressions and I've explained that into details there. So here, you multiply the coefficient of a by negative 33. Coefficient of a squared is 1. If you multiply by negative 33, you are going to get negative 33. So we are looking for two numbers that when you multiply, you get negative 33. But when you add, you are going to get negative 11 negative 8a those two numbers will be those two numbers will be 3 and 11 so we are going to make it 3 and minus 11 because 3 minus 11 will give us negative 8 3 times minus 11 will give us minus 33 once again, as I said, if you want to understand how to find these two numbers, 3 and minus 11, watch the video on algebraic expressions, factorization on algebraic expression. I explained to you how you can use your calculator to get these two numbers to solve this. Okay, so we replace negative 8a with 3a and minus 11a so that we can solve this. You go ahead and factorize. So you put negative a squared plus 3a into one bracket. Then you put 11a minus 33 into another bracket. Now, because we are putting it into a bracket and there's a negative sign here, we change the sign in the bracket. All this were explained in the video on quadratic expressions. If you watch it, you are going to understand this very, very well. I keep repeating that because they have all been explained there and when you watch it you understand how to solve these types of equations okay so you go ahead and factorize you are going to get a into bracket a plus 3 then minus 11 into bracket a plus 3 is equal to 0 when you factorize this you are going to get a minus 11 into in one bracket then a plus 3 into at the other bracket okay so how do we find a we know that a minus 11 to one bracket a plus 3 to another bracket is equal to 0. That means that a minus 11 is equal to 0. So a is equal to 0. a is equal to 11, sorry. And a plus 3 is equal to 0. So a is equal to minus 3. So we have two numbers for a, 11 and minus 3. Which one do we pick? Now that's what we are going to do. We are going to find b you are going to find b in each case so in the first instance we say that from equation 3 we know that b is equal to 8 minus a but we have found a to be 11 in the first instance so when a is equal to 11 we know that b is equal to 8 minus 11 and that and b will be giving us negative 33 in the same way when a is equal to minus 3 we know that b will be equal to 8 minus minus 3 but a minus minus 3 will give us plus so 8 plus 3 and b will give us 11 so you can see that for here when a is equal to 11 b is equal to minus 3 and when a is equal to minus 3 b is equal to 11 what this means is that those the two numbers we are looking for are minus 3 and 11 because in this case one is 11 and the other is minus 3 so we can see that the two numbers are minus 3 and 11 and we are right because the question said that when you multiply those two numbers you get negative 33 negative 3 times 11 will give us negative 33 it also says that when you add those two numbers you get 8 and negative 3 plus 11 will give us 8 
So our answers satisfy the equation or condition that was given to us in the question. Once again, you can see that in this video, we did a lot of simplification. We also solved quadratic trinomia. If you want to understand how to solve the quadratic trinomia, watch the video on factorizing quadratic trinomials and the algebraic expression. In those videos, I explained how to use your calculator to solve this type of question. I also explained how to present your answers. So watch that video and you understand how all these factorizations were done. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video where we will take another question on word problems and we will use, we will use simultaneous linear equations to solve it. Bye-bye.